The Great Hangover. It's not part four with Bradley Cooper. UFOs. Is the search over? And a way to predict volcanic eruptions. All that and more coming up on The Daily Orbit. Hello and welcome to The Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. Turns out the Great Extinction was followed by the Great Hangover. Scientists are saying that after the major extinction event that occurred 250 million years ago, species that did survive experienced a very long, slow recovery. Rising temperatures, high levels of greenhouse gases, and a more acidic ocean from volcanic activity suppress biodiversity and proliferation for about 5 million years. They liken the temperature of the ocean to today's average hot tub. 90% of marine life suffered extinction. The lesson, say these scientists, life doesn't just snap back, so we need to take care to prevent the hangover too. We all know that one is way worse. What else is becoming extinct? Sightings of unidentified flying objects. The decline in recent years of UFO sightings has prompted a debate over the validity of previously reported sightings. The failure to produce solid evidence has many believing that, even if other life does exist, they've never been to Earth on flying saucers or any other carriers. Sightings have steadily declined since the 1980s, and many UFO interest groups have closed their doors. An Association for the Scientific Study of Anomalous Phenomena conference in November will discuss the authenticity of sightings and the future of ufology. Well, you can't convince my father that what he saw at his bedroom window 40 years ago was not a UFO. He's a total believer. What's this you say? A vitamin a day won't keep the cardiologist away? All right, I'll stop with a rhyme. A new study found that middle-aged or older men who use daily multivitamins do not reduce their chances of having a major cardiovascular event like a heart attack, stroke, or death from cardiovascular disease. Scientists believe some adults who take a multivitamin may be less inclined to engage in other preventative health behaviors like exercise. But scientists say there's no harm in taking multivitamins as they do have other health benefits, including a modest reduction in instances of cancer. Well, vitamin A may not keep CVD away, but it definitely does my wrinkles. <laughs> and you're gonna lava this next story. <laughs> okay, I know I'm a dork. Two scientists say that they may now be able to predict volcanic eruptions using Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, or INSAR, over the active volcanoes in Indonesia's West Sunda Arc, volcanologists uncovered evidence that showed the inflation of several volcanoes before their eruption, likely from rising magma. They say their technology could be particularly helpful in areas like Indonesia, where volcanoes are a threat to millions of people. They say this study is important because it shows the first remotely detected evidence of a precursor to a volcanic eruption, which can be translated into better early warning systems for those living near active volcanoes. Now that's hot. And the first complete specimen of a very rare whale and her calf were discovered in New Zealand. Thought to be the common gray's beaked whales, the pair were found beached in 2010 and later died. But DNA analysis identified them as spade tooth beaked whales. Scientists have no idea why these whales remain so elusive, and up to this point, they weren't even certain the species still existed. It just goes to show how little we still know about ocean life. Well, that does it for today's Daily Orbit. <gasps> they do exist.